Hello guys, it's uh, the, another tutorial for the service control and now I will explain and show what we need to do to do next. Uh, you should go to the, this website, it's easily to like find this. You just need to write git inside and this website and download uh, for the PC. Yeah, it's good version also 62 64 and it will be i will pause the video for this it's now done i am opening this uh, next it's it's i think good location for the disk c uh, here you have two options uh, this kit q u i i don't know but it's uh, like user interface I don't like it. I am using just the code and this git bash is I think it's better. And git next 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 a lot yeah now now it's good. I think it will be fast. Launch the git bash, launch, yes, we have this li little console and it's now great. Uh, for now we should go to the GitLab. Uh, GitLab. And inside We can create the new project mm, like test test project. Uh, we should leave here private because it will be like only for you and your team when you can add your teammates inside your wrapper. Not public. It's public and someone can get your code if you like want. You can do this, but I like to do a private inside like project you mm, yeah just uh, i don't want to do a group project uh, yeah just find create project now we have this file and for new git users it's very important i think and we can just copy this and we have repository for now but uh, the project is empty you can see we have nothing in the repo hour. We can just for testing can we can just add the readme txt and inside we can just for better understanding paste our commands inside and commit changes. Okay, now we have the project you can see on the this GitLab our project. And inside we have readme. We can open it. Ah, maybe it's better when we will pull it. Okay, uh, how we can get this project uh, to our PC? We can uh, use colon and we can use just download here and like zip and we will download the repo inside. But, uh, okay, we have the repo, we have something in it. Now we should connect and pull all data uh, from this. And I will show you how to do. I I will add the like test test txt file with this information, and I will show you why why it's very important. This email is only like for testing, also like an account, but it's for tutorial. And inside, what we should to do, we we should right click, uh, go to the git bash here. We'll call our console inside this folder and inside we should write git init inside now we have the git folder uh, to work in with our repository because if we don't have this initialization uh, we cannot like work and pull no we pull can but we cannot push and do all stuff 
And for now, from this tutorial and this txt file, you have the kit config because we need to like add the user inside. Uh, we should copy this. Just we can paste it inside. Uh, again, git config copy this to email, paste. And for now, we need to get from the repository to our folder for, for our local PC. To do this, we have a command uh, git clone and our this folder, not folder, but uh, this like website, but you can just get it from here also, this URL. But uh, this one, no, 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 this one. Yeah, it's will be it's with the case. We don't need it for now. And uh, where I need to open the txt file and console, we will like paste here this kit cloning. And for now, we should write the username and password password from the GitLab. Username will be this one. This will our username. We should write it here. Password. Uh, we should like from the GitLab password. And one more thing, if you will write uh, bad login or password here, uh, for mm, for some time I don't know, but it can be blocked from the GitLab. And you should and you should do more things to login again. But it's possible if maybe some will have some maybe. But uh, issues you can write comments and I will check is it uh, inside. We need to like uh, write password from the GitLab cloning. Oh, we have done all is great and login is successful. And you can see we have our test test, test not, not part this guy. Ah, uh, read me. Uh, it's, it should go to the notepad and we have this all information from the server, from the repository now. And this project, and inside we can like work here. And what we can to do more, and now we can uh, create the Unreal project and push it inside uh, the repo and work uh, with this. Uh, from the Unreal Engine and from the Unreal Editor. I will show you in the next video. Thank you for watching.